Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. This is dealing with your board, the PRE artist, the PRE associate, one of Dolph Homeboy's Ace Boo Coon, whom is Paper Route Bino. Alright, now Paper Route Bino, he been down with Young Dolph for some years now. Basically since the beginning. And Paper Route Bino, he had a few choice words to say about a uh, black youngster. You know what I'm saying? About his disrespect after Young Dolph untimely demise. Along with that, Paper Route Bino also speaks on what Castelia went through. Basically, every day after Young Dolph untimely demise. But before we get into it, let's pay our respects and say rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to the family and much love to all my folks in Dolph land. Based on the tragic event of Young Dolph untimely demise, Castelia in South Memphis, they went through a little slump for a period of time. And y'all have to understand why. Because Young Dolph, they had lost somebody that was most revered, most respected. You know what I'm saying? Um, a humble guy who didn't mind showing um, assistance towards those who needed it. And that was Young Dolph. And again, um, Pepper Robino speaks on how like the first day, that the first day seemed unreal. Basically, the first two days based around Young Dolph being sent up was, it seemed unreal. Um, people were still like looking at the news and when it was pronounced that Young Dolph was sent up, again, it didn't hit a lot of people like that because it seemed unreal. Y'all have to understand why. Cause like I said, Young Dolph, he was seen as that person that a lot of people thought, you know, basically it was like one of those things of, you know, keep your hands off of, you know what I'm saying? Like don't touch him or you're going to have a problem with not only Castelia, but Basically, the whole uh, South Memphis, you know what I'm saying? And that was not based on, because people, let's say, was uh, intimidated by Young Dolph. But it was a sign of respect. It was it was a sign of, we appreciate what you're doing for us as a whole. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, uh, based around Young Dolph untimely demise, Bino talks about how Castelia, South Memphis, you know, uh, People was in the slumber, should I say, for a period of time. Because, like I said, it was unrealistic. You know what I'm saying? That Young Dolph would get sent up, not only in Makita's, but allegedly set up by those that he looked out for. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this is what Bino speaks on. And he also speaks on, at that time, how Young Dolph, at the time that Castelia was going through their mourning moment, for Young Dolph, how Black Youngster, he did some very disrespectful things at the time. And again, that was uh, created a diss song around Young Dolph Untimely Demise. And like I said, some people was like, we know that you had your discourse or discontent with Young Dolph. But at the same time, you have to show some type of uh, respect, some type of class. This would make a lot of people in South Memphis really not respect Black Youngster like, they knew that he had his, again, back and forth diss songs with Young Dolph, and he said a few things in social media. That Paper Ralph Bino also speaks on how all that disrespect that Black Youngster was doing has limited him and his heavy cam artists, limited his artist mobility in doing shows in Memphis. So he said all that, like, overly disrespecting Young Dolph, was not needed because we see the outcome. We see what's going on because it's way more Young Dolph fans and supporters than there is of Black Youngster fans, fans and supporters. But at the same time, it still goes to show that Black Youngster know that Young Dolph, he fed, he looked out for a lot of people. So based on that, you had some folks saying like, respect the man from that behalf. You may not respect them from hands on, from like things y'all said about one another on social media, you know what I'm saying, and, and, um, and rap lyrics. But at the same time, the overall view is the man took care of not only his family, 
multiple families throughout South Memphis, throughout the state of Tennessee, you know what I'm saying? Georgia, South Carolina, Arkansas. Like, there's like seven states surrounding Tennessee. And Young Dolph, he had a connection almost to every state. Like, for real, from a, either from a, a social side, a, um, a social networking side, um, the side of uh, family, um, you know what I'm saying? Just Young Dolph, again, he was a, a man of all hats. He was a jack of all trades. Some people lost respect for a black youngster for creating that diss song after Young Dolph untimely demise. You know what I'm saying? Because they like, come on, bro, we know, like, you can kill the antics. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time to be real here. You know what I'm saying? We lost somebody that, again, a lot of people. And on top of that, Bino also speaks on revered and had a lot of respect for. Now, Key Glock rolled into PRE, which is now Key Glock is the face of PRE. And these words that come from CEO Daddy O that uh, Paper Albino speaks on. He said, because... Young Dolph had hands-on, taught Key Glock the, hand, the game about how to move, um, how to promote yourself based around what, what song you put out, whatever album you put out, not only for yourself, but other guys, other artists that's in Paper Route. And that's the way they do it. You guys see they have an order the way they do things. You know what I'm saying? And they have a rollout. They have rollout events. Again, they show, uh, they, they do pop-ups. All that, you know what I'm saying, based, again, around if they have any type of uh, uh, songs coming out, features, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And this is something that Young Dolph had taught Key Glock. And this is something that CEO Daddy knows that Young Dolph taught Key Glock hands-on, was to maneuver, you know, Young Dolph said to himself in a song. If he's not there, he want his artists to move like they independent. And that's why you guys see that he, he Glock, he's getting offers from other labels. You know what I'm saying? He's moving like he's a real boss figure right now. He's moving like he's really taking heed to the knowledge that Young Dolph passed down to him that will help him create longevity in the rap game. And again, that's something that Paper Ralph Bino speaks on is the knowledge that Young Dolph was always placing on his artist, you know what I'm saying? Always letting them know, like, what to be aware of, you know what I'm saying? Again, uh, keen awareness was always part of Young Dolph mentality because he said the more you're aware of something, the more you can utilize it to your advantage, the more you can benefit from it, you know what I'm saying? And that's dealing with anything in life. You could let something, like, really take over your mindset to where it almost cripples you, to where it, keep, it keeps you stagnant or it could be that thing that actually helps give you that motivation help give you that drive that push to want to create something more than what you're sitting on now and that's what again that's what young Dolph always taught this is something that paper route bino speaks on and that's why he say he love and support young Dolph for always giving not only him a chance but other people throughout the community a chance that really didn't see the sun on the other side of all the gloom and darkness. Young Dolph, he was that, he was that, he was really that hope for a lot of people. So like I'm saying, um, Castelia, they was almost like, everything was almost like at a standstill. You know what I'm saying? It's like the world had paused, especially South Memphis, around Young Dolph untimely demise. Because like I said, a lot of people couldn't wrap their minds around what was going on at the time. A lot of people couldn't wrap their minds around the stories that was being pushed from out from the news outlets and from the social media outlets based around Young Dolph untimely demise. It goes to show that Young Dolph, he was a, a very well-respected person and he will be missed and long live Flipper always. Hey, but y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.